Hey there and welcome back to Ukrainian Gaming, I'm Andrew and today we play some more Heart of Iron 4 lost the back with the Soviet Union. So in the last episode Germany tried to push the Operation Barbarossa as further as possible into the east but we are just saying no, no, no and we are trying now to, uh, let's, let's unpause, we are trying of force to uh, keep this position uh, as much as we can. Let me see which new technology we could take. Not bad. I'm having a look. Maybe I will be I will be able to go further into technology. What is my industry doing? My industry is pumping up the the forts level which I think at the moment is not that necessary, but since we can do it, let's do it. And then we will uh, pump up a little bit more uh, factories because we need them. The only thing that I really dislike here is the following, uh, man. I would really like to uh, have a fallback line that resists, that responds in this area. Because in this area I have really no uh, equipment whatsoever, so we are losing actual equipment. For the rest, we are doing quite okay. Yeah. Why do I have an extra uh, unit here? I know why, yeah, sure. Because I have assigned that now three divisions to this order. Let's do this. Easy peasy. Fine. Let's move someone to Turkey. Why not? Uh, I think I can speed up, uh, put it to level four. Let me have a look at the skies. I need more airplanes in the area of Ukraine. And if I look at the production, I am having now a 30 um, industry to the tanks. It's not, it's not bad. Support and give me 15, improved artillery 10, fighter 15. Yeah, I, I, I would really need to build more fighters, but I think I can manage. When our enemy is a trying to attack, they really crash against a wall, a Soviet wall. And I'm not, to, I'm not going to move one single muscle. I am absolutely careful and relaxed because they won't be able to push forward in any way. So I will just now sit here and wait until they destroy themselves and they get uh, damage also from their lies. I'm not going to, uh, let's say, hit my head against them until they uh, basically let uh, UK and US invade them. I will just wait with calm and let's see what we can do. So let me see if I can actually do the war bonds. No, I've done it already. I could develop some... Um, you know what? I can actually do that. I can develop some mines. So look at this. Here, for example, they are doing well. When they are doing well, I move some troops to bring support. Here they are doing well. I move some troops to give support. I'm talking about the Germans. The Germans are doing well. Uh, otherwise, I see here there are also my huge defenses. They are doing very, very well. Um, the Germans cannot push at all. But in other circumstances, yes, it's a problem. So maybe it was not that silly when I decided to build another line of four of land forts. But after that, I think they won't be able to do literally anything. Spionage. Okay. Where are my guys here? Yeah. What are they doing? Planting the false intelligence. Okay, that's not ready yet. Very good. And I'm very curious to see, let's, let's wait till January, February, let's wait till the winter is over and then we will have a look at the casualties between the German front and the Soviet one. I am really curious to see what, what's going to happen. I have, I have a little feeling that, I have a feeling that they might be kind, kind of unsatisfied at the end, but let's see. Okay. Let's continue giving our uh, air, uh, air doctrines. They're also extremely important. And now we have also ground support. 
Ground support to Major Tom. Um, can we unlock the lessons of, lore, of war? Not yet. Okay, so we have a, a, a few different options. We can take the modern war in disguise. What can it give? Air mission efficiency plus 10% and night operation plus 10%. Okay, we did all the line. Let's finish uh, with, uh, with the air forces. So we will have a very, very effective uh, defense. What I could do, I might consider to build here. Maybe... some railways of uh, level 3 railways to Moscow instead of this funny <laughs> land force and maybe we will be able to provide a better a better reinforcement there let me have a look now what we need we need medium tanks we need fighters closer support and tactical bomber the rest is quite good and it's fine because we might need it later on in the war no, but also here we are good. Yeah, we're very good. Oh man, I just saw something that I love. I just saw a 100, 1,800 <laughs> defense. And uh, it's just a pleasure to see. A pleasure for my eyes, really. Also in Turkey, everything is under control. Um, Vichy France might enter the war let's just let's just stretch a little bit the defense area here because i don't want to end up with vichy invading me later on sometimes strange things happen you know in my last run switzerland joined the allies for example okay good that they didn't join the axis you would say yeah sure but still it's not that normal you might agree with me oh look at this look at this we have now the possibility to do something funny here I love this uh, this uh, soundtrack by the way uh, let's plant the false intelligence so the Germans that they, they will think that we are more oh wait, 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 what's what what is this why are we attacking why are Ah, we are attacking with the with the stop. Cancel this order immediately. Did I just put real units? Oh my goodness! I, I really did it. I really put real um, units together with the fake intelligence units. Uh, man. I just wanted to... I just want... Oh, man. Really. I just wanted to pretend that I have units here. Not ask my troops to attack, really. Now it's better, thank you. Now it's much better, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. New artillery, dispersed industry, advanced computing machine, excavation. Now we study only industry and um, and we capitalize. We do not move a single finger until Germany is dried up. Probably we will spend six months now positioning ourselves and waiting. And that's totally fine for me because I am not the one in the mud, Germany is in the mud, and they are, will probably lose manpower and uh, and, and hope. Um, we will just keep pushing. Uh, by the way, now the infrastructure is almost done. So in Vitebsk, we, we just need a little bit more um, railways, then we are good. And then we can continue our fourth line. When that's also done, we will uh, uh, keep doing infrastructure and civilian factories we have to keep building civilian factories because we need them to import and we need them to build other military factories for the time being what we have is definitely more than enough so uh can i do some propaganda not yet okay fine that's good that's good 
I speed up, down, level 4. 31st of December, Happy New Year, <laughs> welcome to January 1942. Um, and let's, let's continue this way. I believe that my intelligence agency now brought my guys back. So we move them here. We try to see some technology and, and, and border our enemies. Absolutely. And since we are here, since we are here, let's keep studying. Let's keep improving our intelligence. We have industry, right? We do. So we do, we need to use it. So Vitesk now has a level three. Let me see how it looks like. Almost. We have a level three from Moscow to uh, this supply hub in Vitebsk, but not here in the middle. Still, if I look at the uh, supply status, is at 28% now. Not the best, but fine. We do what we can. Wait a minute. What? What's going on here? What is going on? I wasn't expecting this strike, this powerful strike. And because now I see some red spots, which means we are going to kill you. And maybe they will manage. Let's uh, slow down and go to level 3. Now they're attacking really with all their forces. Everything is green again. Not bad. We have to resist this spring. Then let's see what's the situation. Let's see. There's wind. The modern war in the skies is really close to us. And we are getting a lot of aces, so a lot of um, victories in the sky. Uh, I love it. I just love it. Hmm, Germany. It seems that the grand battle plan of Josef Big Mustache Stalin is working quite well. It looks like. It really looks like. Okay, we have some choices that we can do. War propaganda. Um, honestly, I really don't care. I would like to issue the bonds or develop war mines. That's better. War bonds are already in place. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Good, good, good. Let's have a look at their air forces. Okay, in Ukraine we need definitely more uh, planes, otherwise we will not have the control of the skies. Chernigov, oh man. Can't we just feed a little bit more uh, airplanes? If I take the closer, no, not the closer support, I need the, the fighters. Let's move them to 12, 20 please. What can I do? Yeah, also tanks are very important, but... Okay, I won't need so much anti-air, so maybe it's better to build more fighters rather than anti-air. And look at this. We need to ask the US to give us some, uh, some help. Liberia has joined Norway or as our ally in the German Norwegian War. Okay. So Liberia now is on our side. Thank you, brothers. End of January 1942. It seems like that Germany is having a bad time pushing in the Barbarossa operation. Yeah, it looks like. It looks like. Okay, I need to keep an eye on the manpower because it's going down at the, and at a certain point I will have to move from extensive conscription to service by requirement. But I don't want to do it yet because I think I can afford it. I will probably have to change it if I push uh, with a counterattack, but at the moment that's not the case. So. And then uh, also something very important, we will need to repair our uh, infrastructures Otherwise, obviously, we will not have we will not have any sort of um, we will have a lot of disadvantage, disadvantage, logistical disadvantage. Air superiority plus fifteen. Yeah, let's take this. 
we need to do that. So let's have a look at the situation. The Soviet Union lost 205,000 men against the Germans, let's say 264,000 against the Axis. Uh, the Germans lost 1,300,000 men against the Soviets. Okay. And the Italians 1 million against the UK. I think in Africa, the UK is doing very well. Proud of them. Very good. Not really very good. Well planned attack, attack their tactic damage plus 15. No, I don't need this tactic at the moment. I do not need it. Okay, it seems that Germany now stopped. They need to recover their organization, of course. And we are almost all green. We need a lot of fighters. This is what we need. Which, by the way, now we, we filled. So let's move the fighters to 25. Yeah, we fill them with the anti-air. It's all right. It's all right. Great thing, great, 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 great. Let's speed up a little bit. It's February. If they didn't manage to push when they were well prepared, now that our uh, infrastructure is even stronger, our forts are even stronger, I think they will never be able to push. I think they will ne never be able to push. So now the decision is just in our hands. What should we do? Should we build a division of tank and try to um, prepare some devastating encirclements? Or I don't know. I really don't know. Let me see if I can give some. Let's wait. We could put an, a new political advisor, maybe Khrushchev, or I could try to unlock the Patriarch Sergei, that we, uh, it would increase also my stability, which is great. I think to get him, I need to go through until ah, here. Yeah. Or I could boost uh, political power gain and advisor cost and power and base stability. Yeah, freedom of debate, unity of action. Let's let's try now to to work on uh, the, the, the the political side of Stalin, and let's boost these topics. I love to watch the industry going. You know. What I don't love <laughs> is to see that my infrastructure are always bombed, so it takes a while to fix them. It looks like it seems that we, 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 we manage, we manage. We keep our civilian factories now um, supporting the reparations. And let's take the last Mass destruction, strategic bombing, yes, the last doctrine. And now that we have the, all the strategic destruction um, path, maybe we could really think to be some strategic bombers to use against the German lines. Um, the fact is that I don't have yet any nice strategic bomber. We have, we can try to research the next generation of strategic bombers and then build them. They might be ready for next year, probably. Why not? And now we go back to civilian factory. And we build them. I know that I said that I would I love to power up, you know, the infrastructure first, but now now let's let's leave it. Uh, let's just build civilian factories and generate an advantage. Doctrine is available. Okay. This is important, assault or infiltration. I go for the assault because it will give me a more, now more organization in general, which is also a great advantage. And then later it will help me also when I will try to attack my friends. Okay, Japan changes the diplomatic status with us. They cancel the non-aggression pact. This is uh, something that I didn't expect, honestly speaking. Hmm. 
not good. How is it going? 97%. Let's infiltrate the army. Oh, we did it already. I just want to steal... Um, and now I have to infiltrate the army once again if I want to steal their technology. Fine. Actually, could get just for fun the um, elusive gentleman, so I would have a, an extra operative at my service. That would be fun. That would be really fun. Mm. Let's go for the strategic bomber now. So manpower, we have always nine hundred and seven thousand, so we can absolutely cope with the assaults of the Germans, but. Women in the workforce, what is this? Stability minus five recruitable, oh, not bad. Let's keep it for later. Let's expand the aluminum in Stalingrad. Actually, let's use all of this. Let's all, uh, use all of those new boosts due to construction. So we will have even more resources. And actually, if I go back to export focus, I will have more resources. Of course, the construction speed will be slower, less research speed. Factory output, well, I don't know if I want to go back. <laughs> I'm not that sure. I'm really not that sure, to be fair. Okay, end of March. Now they, they are still 1.8 million. In the last attacks, they didn't lose so many men. It's, now it's a very static situation. Now the best industry will win. That's why we have to boost it. That's why we have to boost it. At the moment we have 97 civilian factories. We should, uh, we should increase them. Political power plus 5, political advisor minus 15, political power plus 50, I like it. Gain stability plus 5 is, is good. It will lead us to 90. Well, 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 it seems that uh, they're not pushing so much anymore. It looks like. So July 42, okay, good. Um, develop the ore mines near Belgorod, exploit the ramen oil field. Wow. Yeah, we can also get more oil. We will have to use a lot of uh, civilian factories now, but we will have many resources later, so... And oil is very important. What I see is that unfortunately now the logistic of Germany is not that bad as before as last year. I think they I think they definitely fixed. Yeah. They fixed almost all the damage that we did on the infrastructure, but that was enough to stop them and to strengthen our position and now they're just not able to to push back. They're just not able to push back and that's fantastic. That's really fantastic. Let's have a look at the strategic. Mm, okay. Okay. We keep the... Uh, the. Okay. Belarus is, is amazing. Ukraine is yellow. It would be better if also Ukraine was green. I might consider to move. Do I have some airplanes here in Greece? Yeah. Let's move those uh, fighters in the skies of Ukraine. And also these tacticals, because there is no fight uh, in Turkey. So they will be useful there. And here, let's go back to the air. Mm, no. I prefer to improve my radars now. What is outdated? Anti artillery. Okay, let's build artillery level 3. 100 civilian factories. Yes, wonderful. Our industry works. 
even if we are using a lot of uh, of the industry it's blocked here in the special project okay the modern calls more manpower less training time minimal training level not yet plus organization yes sir much better and I want to see if I have enough tanks to prepare a new line. Yes, I do. So let's add another line of tanks here. It's slow, I agree, but uh, it's important. We, not, we just need to get prepared while the Germans are getting slowly tired. They're not tired yet, but slowly tired. Look at this! <laughs> Look at this Italy! The Brits are on fire! My goodness, the Brits are on fire. It seems that the south of Italy has been invaded by England. Oh man, that's hilarious. That's really hilarious. Let's go for the stream, uh, streamlined lines that, that will give me more uh, growth. Wonderful. Okay, end of April, 1.8. Freedom of debate, great, done. We could get plus 15 stability also. Decision for cost diplomacy minus 50%. Let's do that. Let's bring our stability to the maximum point so we can go ahead and industrialize as much as possible. And boost the factory output soon. Okay, I put uh, on top uh, the railways because I want to fix the logistic in order to have a fully equipped uh, infantry, minimize the um, attrition, you know, the usual. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Drag and drop to change the priority. No, I don't want to change. I want to see when it will be done in four days. Wonderful. 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 Great. We are also piling up some air experience, which I will dedicate to my strategic bombers that I will use to blow up the logistic of Germany. Because if I can control the skies and I can control the logistic, then I can push back relatively easily i think i think at least this is my goal let's issue more war bonds okay we still have some um factories uh, blocked with uh, resources but as you can see then we can bring back some factories uh, we I, i'm trying to invest economically during wartime and this shows <laughs> this shows the luxury that i have because now of course if if germany will be busy oh yes i like this let's let's create a new let's create a new army Those guys are going commando, non-combat, out of supply penalty, infantry officer, winter specialist is amazing. Promotion with Purkayev. Popov, I love him. Brilliant strategist and winter specialist. Let's give to Popov this command. Not Rosakovsky, winter expert, not bad. And my winter expert will, for the time being, go here we'll see fine 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 okay it seems that Germany is not trying anymore they're not trying anymore I am not I'm not complaining about that but so I also stopped to fix the railways they're getting fixed anyways without the use of my in, in infrastructure okay we have the last advanced computer machine 
very very useful let's go back to industry and let's research now the disperse industry level five i know uh, we are very ahead of time but that's enough that's fine we we can do it and then uh we will work uh, to achieve the leningrad polytechnical institute so we will have also the fifth column and we will work on the nuclear bomb and the missilistics because i because it's just very fun uh that's very very fun let's have a look at the uh, deployment okay we, we need tanks here we have tanks but we are producing them i think we will manage easily infantry equipment we have 181,000 rifles artillery 10k anti-air 4 when we will start pushing of course we will need to change this but it's okay fighter we have 28 closer support a little bit more look at this once we moved our uh, airplanes from turkey to ukraine now we have the green sky also in ukraine and that's great. Uh, what I'm going to do now in this report, I will put, I will put all the closer support that I can and deploy them only with logistic strike. Just for fun. Let's give the logistic strikes on Germany to keep them a little bit, you know, careful. And I think we will now end this episode but um, it has not been very how can i say it was not it was not that dynamic <laughs> but the, the idea that the uk could uh, uh, take the south of italy and now they are fighting a lot there and the idea that we are um, investing in industry and germany just cannot push makes me feel very very happy so we end the episode on the 22nd of June, 42. The German Reich got 1.9 million casualties in Russia. We are still fixed with 270,000. So basically, I would say that with the Axis, the, we can almost say that for every Russian man that we lost, the Germans lost nine men and a half. That's not bad, but we still need to wait and be patient with this. In the next episode, I would really like to finish those uh, industries. So we will have now around about 10, 20, like, like 30 civilian industries. And then I will push uh, on the um, uh, military side. And I think I will be able to build an even more powerful air fleet on one hand. And also a tank uh, um, division this one that would lead probably i will try to create an encirclement with those and then use the infantry to finish off the enemies but we'll see this in the next episode i thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed so if you appreciate it please leave a thumbs up it's it's for free and it helps me a lot and i really like it and in any case we see each other next time thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day or evening